Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm back with the monthly read for the month of September time and this reading is going to be for the sign of Virgo. So Virgo, let's see what's coming through for you for the month of September. Just be mindful, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonate and leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see what's coming through. Let me pick the cards up. Hold on. So yeah, the cards that fell down, I'm not going to add. Wow, there is definitely something going on with you guys. The month of September is going to be like a lot is going to be happening for sure i don't know what's going on with your um your reading but yeah i'm not going to be adding any of the cards um uh, i would just um cleanse the energy first and then i would continue so i'm just going to put this card back too uh let me talk about it uh we do have the skull hidden secrets can harm you and then we do have the parrot someone will keep gossiping about you about all your secrets be very careful. Something is definitely not right with you guys in the month of September. There are people around you who are going to be like spreading a lot of hate and um, negativity about you. Just be very protective of yourself and your energies. Make sure that you do some protection. I'm also going to kind of cleanse the energy out for some uh, reasons because I'm not seeing anything good coming your way um with a lot happening i really feel like you know, there will be people who would want to damage your reputation or something so just be very careful with that and i have to want it um i could also do like you know just just stop the reading and like you know start all over again but this message needs to be heard by someone for sure so let's uh pause the video and uh, let me uh cleanse the energy and then i will continue so let's put all the cards together and let's shuffle What's coming up for the sign of Virgo? Let's see. What's coming up for the sign of Virgo? What's coming up for the sign of Virgo for the month of September? What's coming through? What's coming through? Angel Spirit Guides, help us know what's coming through for Virgo for the month of September. There is a definite uh, sense of... Uh, um, I really see the cards light now, for sure. So we do have the man coming out. Let's see what else is happening here. So many cards, I'm gonna take all of them. Let's keep shuffling till we get some, like, you know, maybe a few cards that's coming through for you. I'm gonna take this one. Let's take a few more cards coming through for you for the month of uh, September. We'll go, what's coming in? I feel like, you know, for some of you, uh, let's take these ones. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, you might have been through a lot lately. And um, that tough journey is coming to an end for majority of you. Let's begin. We do have the first card that we saw was the man. Dealings or relationship with the man. I really feel like, you know, for some of you, there is somebody coming in your life who's going to influence your life in a big, big way in the month of uh, September. Let's see more about it. We do have the elephant. A long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. I really feel like, you know, the experience that you're having right now in your life in the month of September is definitely going to give a good lesson for you to learn from the things and mistakes and everything. Um, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, uh, it can be a relationship that you have with a person, like a man figure or a person, even if it's a feminine energy, but there is a masculinity towards that person. Um, maybe they are very strong, very, very bold kind of a person that you're dealing with if you are dealing with a feminine. But I really feel like you know, this chapter that you have with this person is going to make you learn a lot. It's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you, uh, uh, you know, uh, wiser at the end for sure. Let's see more what's coming in for you. We do have the star guarantee success. I really feel like, you know, the divine really wants you to know that whatever journey that you're having right now with someone specific, the outcome is going to be successful. So, um, yes, but I really feel like, you know, you will have to work towards it. You will have to go for it. 
um, putting your heart and mind into it and you will ultimately get the success. We do have the forest muddled, unclear thinking. I really feel like in a majority of you with the obstacles, with the ups and downs that you might be having in your life right now, you do have like unclear thinking about the future around this person, this relationship, this work life scenario, home life scenario that you're currently in. Uh, but just know one thing, you don't have to clutter your mind with so much going on and just know that something beautiful is going to come through. I would suggest you to use affirmations in the month of uh, September to keep your mind on the right track to avoid the muddle thinking. Secondly, I would suggest you, which is, which is actually better, like, you know, before you jump into the month of September, make sure that you cleanse out the energy for yourself. Like, you know, uh, make sure that you, that you protect yourself uh, from evil energies around you. Because I really picked up really not so nice energies in the beginning of the reading when I started off. So make sure that you do that before you enter into the month of September to protect yourself and protect your needs and desires and your wishes and everything. In fact, the relationship that you have as well. So we do have the rainbow. The most difficult part of your situation is over. And I really feel like that uh, very clearly. I really feel like, you know, there, there has been tough um, situation in your life recently. Maybe you're still having that tough decision or tough uh, situation that you're currently dealing with. But I really see it to work out for you in your favor. You know, um, even if it feels like it's going to be like, you know, giving you the uh, not giving you the outcome that you want, but still you're going to learn from that experience and then onwards you will have a good times coming your way. So I really feel like you know, there is definitely something happening which is going to bother you, but at the same time, eventually you're going to see yourself coming out of it with, um, with flying colors for sure. We do have the dolphin. Uh, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So I really see you having, um, what do we call it? Um, uh, you're definitely going to be having, um, you're definitely going to be having, uh, karmic rewards. I really feel like, you know, if something is done wrong to you, you will get the karmic reward for that in the times to come. So I really feel like, you know, maybe something has happened in the past and you're really struggling right now with financial issues. Uh, just know that the things that you have done good for other people, the karma is going to come and give you the blessing that you need right now. The luck is going to be on your side. The success is going to be, you know, something that you can uh, see coming for you in the month of September as well. But I really feel like, you know, the most difficult part of your life is over. So from now onwards, the good thing starts. And um, yes, there might be something that you're still currently dealing with, which is definitely kind of like, you know, uh, hard for you to handle, but you are going to leave the situation in the nicer way in the month of September. So you will be coming out of a big trouble uh, in the month of September for you. We do have a carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. Again, it's talking about the same journey here. Uh, a journey that has been very long and strong for you, which has been like, you know, pretty much uh, um, maybe something that has uh, got you um, exhausted. Um, it's finally coming to end then, which is a good thing. We do have a shield. You need to defend yourself. Again, it's the same energy that I talk, uh, talked about in the very beginning when the cards fell down everywhere. Uh, you need to protect yourself. You need to protect your energy. You need to protect yourself and defend yourself. But yes, I feel like you know, the protection is more, much more needed than anything else here in the month of September for you. Uh, to avoid, um, you know, any sort of harm that could come your way coming from the people around you. So you have to be like um, careful with that. Uh, let's see what else is coming through for you. What else is coming through for you in the month of uh, September? Virgo. What else is coming through for you? I'm not going to take all those cards. Let's see. Virgo, what is coming through for you? Okay, so we have these two cards here. The door to spirit. Make sure that you have, uh, you make time to connect to the divine that you believe in because that's going to be very important for you in the month of uh, September. Then we do have the envy. Again, there are people in your life who are not good for you or who have not good intentions for you. Just protect yourself from those people. There are people who are envious of you and your success. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, you have to defend yourself and protect yourself from those people. Um, they can be like, you know, very close people that you have in your life and you have to be watchful of uh, what they are doing behind your back to hurt you, to to bring you loss of something or someone. Uh, so just, just know that. So let's see what else is coming through for you in the month of uh, September. We do have Ace of Pentacles coming in, an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to uh you know rise and an opportunity to um 
uh, have new income coming your way. It can also be financial commit, uh, financial commitment that you're going to see coming your way. It can also be like, you know, if you are getting a lot of money in the month of uh, uh, September, make sure that you're not revealing it to many people around you. Don't talk about it. Oh, I'm getting like, you know, this promotion or I got this or that. Don't talk about it because there will be like people who are going to be like, you know, uh, envious of your success or envious of what you are earning and making uh, financially. So you might be dealing with an earth sign for some of you um, um, like yourself. But uh, let's see what else do we have coming up for you in the month of uh, September for Virgo. What else is coming through? So hold on, let me pick the card up. So it's the Knight of Cups. Hold on, it's the Knight of Cups, and action is going to be taken towards you by someone. I feel like you know it can be a loving offer coming your way with the uh, commitment. Um, it can be that as well for some of you. If there is somebody coming in your love life, um, maybe there are people who are going to be jealous and envious of you. This person can be richer than you. This person can be um, financially stronger than you. Maybe which is why there are going to be a lot of talks happening about you and this person's relationship. Um, you might be getting lucky because you're getting to be with this person for some of you. But I really see an opportunity coming your way, which is going to be very uh, romantic as well. It can be a person coming towards you in love uh, who have uh, been on your mind for quite some time. Uh, it can be that same person reaching out to you with an offer or it can be a new person for some of you. It can be a fire sign as well for some of you. But I really see that um, there is somebody coming in. You would be connecting with someone who is going to be like... Um, you might meet someone through your work in the month of uh, September. And maybe that's why people are talking about you and this person. Maybe this person is going to be like, you know, at your work front and people are going to be talking about, you know, your connection, your bonding with each other. But there is a big, big chance that somebody comes and communicates with you regarding your love uh, life with each other. Like, you know, this person is going to have love and trust in you. And, um, you know, you would be like... Uh, getting a lot of attention coming from this person in the month of September is what I see here. Um, this person can be another worker like you, but it can also be any other word sign and fire sign. So I really feel like you, know, you are definitely getting a lot of attention um, coming your way in the month of September for sure. Let's see what else is coming in for you. What's the guidance for you in the month of September? What do you need to know? What do you need to do? We do have make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. I really see that. I don't know why. If you could see the picture depicted on the uh, on the card, it seems like you know a a, a girl sitting, a, like a mermaid sitting, and there is this unicorn uh, right in front of uh, her, and it's just bowing the head down, letting uh, you know, letting this uh, lady tell the wish that she has to to the unicorn, so it could make it true. Now I really feel like you know, it's going to be as easy as that for you to manifest what you want, what you desire in the month of uh, September. Um, but yes, you have to make that wish. You have to take action by making that wish to the divine that you believe in and then allow it to manifest and enjoy the manifestation coming your way. So that's what I see coming through for you for the month of uh, September. If it was of help, don't forget to like, share and subscribe till I do the next read. Take care. Bye.